Bojan family. Mm -hmm. Bojan family. And those family are living in Bacau. They are inhabitants of Bacau. Okay. So this pool area here is known as a sacred place. Sacred place is place where people used to go to make prayers and to come to make, let's say, sacrifices and also to come and find good luck. Okay. For example, if you are in a business, you want your business to be successful, okay. you will come here and they will give you prescriptions what to do. Then when you do it, hopefully your business will go right. That's a traditional belief. And it's a very powerful belief that even ladies who have difficulties for fertility or to give birth, when they come here, they give you the water to shower and you speak to your partner, luckily you might have a baby. Here? When you have not, that baby, not here. 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 here is the cure, not, not, the, not, the, oh. not the action. You just come and take the water, you know, here and <laughs> pull out and everything. <laughs> the partners <laughs> have to take to each other. <laughs> after take, after take, uh, shower here. After take shower here, you, you can, can go home, home to your house. Home. Okay. But they that's, advise that's the partners okay. to okay. stick together. Okay. And when you stick together, then hopefully, Happy. You will be lucky to have a Before baby. stick together. My friend, <laughs> I'll come to you later. So, here <laughs> also for, for we have for, uh, for education. If you are looking for good luck in your exams, you are looking for you know good luck in your political affairs, you are a politician, you want to you know be a president or you want a good luck or everything. You know, so when you come here... man, Yeah. No, it's a tip of It's a new voodoo, no, prostate, it's a tip of traditional, no. Talisman. It's a strong, traditional, no word, exactly. So this is the belief. So there we have over 100 crocodiles. Over 100? More than 100 crocodiles. And these crocodiles here, they've been living here for centuries. For, for, for decades, yeah. Yes. And the crocodiles that lives here yes. are fed by people. Afraid. Because they feed them with fish. Are fed yes. by the people. And, and they are not deep. aggressive. You can touch them. Yes. You can feel them. You can have pictures with them. But, uh, they are not the aggressive they because they have, <laughs> you know, let's say, you know, feeling for people like because they're used to people. Yes. And they used to grow according to the size of the pool. Okay. They don't grow as big as other crocodiles like alligators that can live into the you know, water areas or are the river areas. Yeah. They are different. These ones, they live according to the size of the pool. And the way they used to rehabilitate is by laying eggs. So here they control their bath. Sometimes they will take the egg so that the bath will be limited. Mm -hmm. The baby ones are there. Their mothers are there too. But sometimes we advise the tourists not to go close to the lady ones because they can be aggressive, especially ah. if they have babies. And if you want to touch them, always it should be based on the advice of the pool guide. Uh, was guide? Only was guide. For you, I want to make pool this guide. place very, very, very yeah, important yeah. because yeah. I know the tourists we are dealing yeah, with. I mean, Russians can be very stubborn. Listen to this point. And crocodiles are not animals that one can joke with because they are one of the most dangerous animals in the world. Mm -hmm. And I was born and brought up in this town for 34 years. I've never heard that crocodile has bite somebody. But the reason why they don't bite you is because you don't provoke them. So when they tell you that you can touch them, touch them gently, because on the upper cover is hard, hard. underneath is soft, yeah. and they are cold-blooded animals. Yeah. You can see them, they come out when the sun is shining to get a sunburn. But sometimes they will open their mouth for ventilation. But when some tourists see that, it brings curiosity in their mind, oh, this is not true crocodile. This is remote control. Or let me just put my hand in the mouth. Don't do it. So make sure you advise them. If they ask you to touch, touch, but don't chip them. To give them pain. That will make them react. Mm. Don't shake them, you know, to see whether really they are alive or not. Because they are really alive. So we don't want to take any risk. So for that being the case, we should make it very, very clear to them. It's interesting, it's nice, you can touch them, you can have fun with them, you can have pictures with them, but be careful. Thank you so much, Mr. Kemo. So, we start from here, and we walk through... Thank you for the watering. So we can have our own Gabi experience. Yes.
Cold water. Cold water. Does it mean? Huh? Yeah? yeah, sorry. What does it mean? What does what mean? Uh, yes, when the crocodile open his mouth, when it's to ventilate, freeze, freeze. freeze. Cooling for cooling, freeze for just, cooling. Yes, just for cooling. Okay. Uh, it's not. Uh, uh, okay, so here we go. Now, like I said, this place is a museum, and the museum we will be walking by the museum just to go to the other side. But when I go to the National Museum, I will explain briefly what we have here in this museum. Yep. Let's go. Ah. So everyone okay? Yes, let's Are go. Are good to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's All go. Right. I was explaining to you about the coconut. So this is the coconut. You can see it here. Krakos. <coughs> you want to try it? So it's, it's, you can have it's, 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 on the beach. It's eatable. I mean, once uh, yeah, yeah, they get they it. These are these are these are traditional masquerades, and these traditional masquerades they come out during feast celebration. Yes, yes. And every culture in the Gambia or every tradition that we have eight tribes, like our folklore. They are exactly. We are wearing some yeah, exactly some kind of traditional thing dance about on specific. Carnivals and you know stuff like that here also is like that, but the most unique about Gambia is the culture Okay, Gambian people have a very traditional you know, strong traditional belief and they have a very strong culture okay. Okay. Potatoes, this one is extra sense And this one when children are circumcised because here every male child is circumcised at the age of six to seven years and you are taken away to the bush, away from your family, yeah, yeah, to teach you yeah. about your values, your morals, your culture. But these are the people who will look after you because they believe that they have supernatural power. Yeah. They are extra sense. They see beyond what people can see. So they are the ones who look after the children. Yeah. They call it the, the farm bully. Yes. Yeah. So you have different, different, different types of them. Yeah? So, okay. Here we have our... <coughs> Traditional musical instruments. The traditional musical instrument in the Gambia here we have the 21 string kora, which is played by the groys of Mandinka. And these people are known as traditional relationship experts. Because you know in Africa here we live with so they believe in Muslims. We are friends with translating. I don't understand you. Do you agree? Yeah, I will explain for us. Sure. Yeah. 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 Kora. Yeah. 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 Yes, the Carol, yes, a good information on how to divide the Ludi Nikatori on the Hadri on Wateta Tilabe for the week. He has a very good information. Yes, the Carol, who is the Dabai information on the last place? Who was the Carol? I shall like a very great later instrument. Exactly. It's Kashi Timushto Novesti. А это с инструмента он ездит по городу, 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 по
боль, есть не все одинаковые. Ну, боль, у мангинка есть свои барабаны. Exactly. У фола есть свои барабаны. Фола, жола, лоно, мангинка. Каждый имеет свои определенные барабаны. Даже каждый имеет свои определенные знаки прямо до лица. Если вещь только будет здесь, это значит мангинка. Если они наверху, то это значит фула. Если здесь прямо на нос, то это значит волев. Вот, они определяют себя. Ну это раньше. Дальше. Место, где люди... Ну вот. Это можно поиграть на эти... Это люди, которые воевали на Второй мировой войне. Вот они, когда они чувствуют, что молодой, крепкий парень вас смотрит и посмотрит, как его сердце бьет, как, как он сильный, если он имеет боевые боевые если он умеет, тогда его посмотрим. Если он не умеет, они его бросят. Он один из самых хороших людей, которые воевали, и он выиграли из Крисона Гамбия, и он здесь выиграл. И вот это сомнение, это сохранение для людей, это вот это люди, которые они сохраняли. Да. Ну вот, видишь, они через вот это самолеты, у них отправили. Самолеты, которые стоят на воде, вот это, и вот они стоят на воде. Officially visit the prince. Officially, princess visit the prince and princess of um England, the duke. Okay. Queen Elizabeth's nice Gambia is a BBC English colony. Hmm. He cut down us build independence. Swab border. Okay. Na David Nasrid, Sidi Sat Peter Mgadu. Да, люди, которые... 18 февраля. 18 февраля 1969 году. Это день независимости в Гамбе. День независимости. Когда они освободились от английской колонии. Это Royal Duke and the Royal Family, которые приехали из Англии. Это приехала королева... موسيقى <تصفيق> 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 <ت
اللي قبل الحاليا ده عملوا سلكشن وهو ما فازش في السلكشن اللي هو يحيى جامع ما فازش في السلكشن الاخير ده اللي عملوه فما فازش فالمهم ان هو بعد ما وافق ان هو هيمشي في خلال اسبوع جه بعد اسبوع قال لك لا انا مش ماشي انا جنبي بتاعتي وانا هقعد في جنبي تمام فطبعا هو كان عامل كنترول كبير قوي على الارمي لان الارمي هنا كله على بعضه اصلا 500 نفر كلهم على بعض 500 نفر فهو عامل كنترول على الارمي فعشان كده القوات الافريقيه الثانيه اللي هي بتاعت السنغال وجيريا السلام الافريقي حفظ السلام الافريقي دول اللي هو الكيمب اللي احنا شفناه احنا وجايين كان الارمي من ناحيه اليمين والكيمب ده من ناحيه الشمال ودول هنا موجودين لغايه دلوقتي هو يا دوبك سايب البلد تقريبا شهر 12 اللي فات سلم البلد واقتنع ان هو هيمشي شهر 12 اه شهر 12 مش ساب السلطه مش لا مش ساب السلطه مش عايش في افريقيا برضه ساب السلطه بس هو بزنس مان كبير وعنده فنادق وعنده بتاع كلام زي كده تمام ساب السلطه وحاليا اللي ماسك السلطه اللي هو الرئيس الجديد ده الاخير الرئيس اللي فات ما كانش وحش كان بس ايه لا كان اللي هو ديمقراطي و لا كان اللي هو ما فيش ما حدش بيقول رايه ديكتاتور مفيش حاجه ديكتاتوري يعني كان ديكتاتوري قوي لا تفرقش حد ديكتاتوري هو يحيى جامع لا لا And after 1994, he was elected as a president and then the new. Right. So this is the Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Center. This is where the chimps are, the chimpanzees in the Gambia. And they were brought to the country. That, that president is Hadi. Who is Stella. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 وهنا كل اللي موجودين في البلد يا رجاله اربع احزاب سياسيه اكبرهم الحزب الديمقراطي في الحزب الليبرالي في الحزب الوردي وده كان المتحف